Hey guys, it's Hink here. I got a good one for you today. Um, at the request, as you can see here on the subreddit, uh, let me get this straight. Oh, so I can breathe. Uh, we're going to be talking about what are basically the 10 things that I would have done differently if I could have started over. That's what we're going to discuss today, as well as a couple of things that I think I did right. And so stay tuned. And we're going to check that out. All right, guys, so uh, we're here today on, I guess, on Reddit requests. So I put out polls either on Reddit or YouTube to talk about what do you what do you guys want to hear? And so this is one of the topics that got the most upvotes. So let's discuss it today. Before we get started, your boy got lucky on the Nike sneakers app and got the new Jordan 4 SBs. Woo! And they are fuego. So anybody curious about those, I'm not putting out a review, but they're fire. So let's get into it. So some of the things that I wish I would have done differently getting started. The very first thing I wish I would have done getting started is that I wish I would have had a better understanding of size statistics. So what do I mean by that? So when I, you know, I, I'm a pretty learned man. I, I went to medical school, you know, obviously residency, all that stuff before I even started this. I was in actually practice before I even started this and I still thought that I was like average to below average based on my experiences when in reality length alone I was um, like far above average girth you know I was actually only a little bit above average to start with but I always assumed that everybody was packing way more than I was and that always f***ed with me but if I had actually learned like okay average is you know somewhere between five five and a half in length and girth is somewhere between four four and a half in uh girth in inches that is I think that would uh you know I probably would still be doing PE but I would have had less insecurity about what I'm dealing with and with Hollywood and all that shit, like who knows maybe I would have still felt the same way but I just, I wish I would have seen, like, there's a site, like, Unraveling Size. I can't put a link up here because it's basically not safe for work. But it actually has, like, a woman, and it's like, this is what, you know, a six-inch girth is like versus, and it, like, holds, she holds it up, like, compares it to her body. And you can actually see, like, oh, okay, like, that's actually what, like, when people claim they're eight inches, what actually eight inches looks like. So if you haven't checked it out, it's like, just go to Google and type in Unraveling Size. Just make sure you're in a, like, not safe for work area where you can look at it. And so... Yeah, just really understanding that Calc SD, like where I fell into, like if there was a group of a hundred guys and I was in that room, like I would have been like uh, towards the top of that room, at least in length before I got started. And now that I know that I'm like, oh, I feel much better about it, but I've also gotten bigger. So it's kind of confounder there. Uh, the next thing, and these are in no particular order, guys. These are just like things I'm thinking about off the dome, but I wish I would have taken a better inventory of my actual penis before I got started with this whole process. And so what do I mean by that is like, I have a post and it's called like how to not get injured. There we go. Lord, I couldn't think of it. But it basically lists like 10 steps to, to go through. And the first thing is to like take a thorough inventory of your dick. What does it look like? What does it look like hard? What does it look like soft? What does it look like from different angles? What does it feel like? What is a normal erection for you? What does that feel like? Because if I had had a better inventory of my dick, like I have had a few injuries. I think I would have had less stress about it if I could have, maybe more, if I could say, okay, well, I know that this is what it looked like before because, you know, here's a video I took that I stored in a safe location and I know it looked like this before and now this is what it looks like. And so like, oh, shit, we have a problem. And so along with that, I honestly wish I had better starting pictures because like I, I have this like little ruler that like partially bends and I had to like cut the plastic in to get to zero and it like hurts to press into my pelvis and I took it at like a weird angle but in order to be consistent with like my progress I have to try to like meet all of this random criteria that makes it very challenging to do so and even just like posting progress pictures you know honestly for myself or you know for the others for the subreddit it, it just makes it hard I wish I would have just been like a more standard way which would have made measuring a lot easier you know one of the things I wish I would have done is I wish I would have started sooner I know that's kind of stupid but you know I, I mean I did try sooner when I was in college you know many people know that I was super duper insecure and I went on websites saw these ads guaranteed four inches in four weeks or whatever it was money back guarantee I was like okay I can't lose bet you know let me try this and I tried the pills once and I was like you know I, th I think it's working I mean, you know maybe it was a little erection improvements and so I was like oh I just need to try another batch and this this time it'll work for sure wrong and so I wish I would have known that like none of that shit 
works then, but also that, you know, basically the sooner you start, the sooner you get gains because, you know, over the past two years of my life where I've been balancing like so many different things, I have made actual real gains. And so I wish I would have done this when I was in college or even probably college would have been tough with lack of privacy, but in, especially in medical school when I was living essentially alone, like I would have had plenty of time to do this and, you know, strap on an extender while I'm studying, you know, my physiology, it would have made things a lot easier. And I think the gains are slow and it takes time. But anyways, the sooner you start, the sooner you get gains. And so um, that's one thing. So this is a controversial one. This is a hot take for sure, but I wish I would have been more careful with my stuff. And so actually you probably can't even see it, but ah, there it is right in the corner, right up there. That's actually my bath mate. <laughs> and, so, and so it's hidden pretty pretty carefully here. But long story short is I wasn't careful enough and I left my bath mate out. No, I didn't leave it out actually. I put it in the closet that was closer to the bathroom that I use and my significant other found it. And you know, she found it and it, first of all, it was just embarrassing as f and second of all, you know, ask me all these questions like, why are you trying to be bigger? Like, you're already big enough. She's awesome. Like, I love her so much. But it was really embarrassing. And it's a hot take because a lot of guys are like, you need to have the conversation with your wife or your significant other, whoever it may be, if you're going to be doing PE. And that's great. Good for you. Well, like, that's not that's not how I roll. This is a private thing that I wanted to do for me. This is an issue that I personally have had my whole life, regardless of who I'm dating or who I'm with. I'm doing it for me. And to me, this is a private experience that I wanted to keep private. And so I really did not like the fact that she found my pump, but it wasn't her fault. I mean, it was me for not, I guess, you know, hiding it um, in an appropriate enough area. But I, I really, I still don't like the fact that she found it. And, you know, how did I recover from that? Well, I said, you know, I, I didn't lie to her. Most of the evidence for pumping is for like improvements in erection quality. And I am getting older. I don't know if I look it or whatever in this mask, but I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm over 40 years old. And so I do care about long-term erection quality. I just basically phrase it as pumps, clinical evidence. She's actually essentially in medicine as well. So I actually showed her like, look, here's a... <laughs> you know, a peer reviewed journal article showing that pumps help to maximize erection quality. And so she left it at that. And it wasn't as much like, why are you trying to make your d bigger? It's you're trying to improve the overall health of your penis. Okay. I get it. You know, do you, and I still do it like super early in the morning, like sometimes as early as like 4 45 in the morning before she even gets up before she can be like, Oh, where were you? It's just like, I get it get it done and out of the way. But that's a me thing. Guys, talk to your significant others if you want to do it. You know, if that's what you want to do, if you don't, you know, whatever, do you. So another thing is I wish I had like better blinders. I mean, when you're going through the sub, you know, you're just kind of bombarded with information, but people will be like, oh, I tried this technique and this worked for me. And it's like every other day. And it's, you know, if you're not careful, you're like, oh, that technique worked for them. Uh, maybe I should try it for them. And then, you know, you have something that works or you don't know if it works or not. And then you switch and then you keep switching. And fortunately I didn't switch that much. I stayed pretty consistent but every time you know I was pumping and I saw a post about you know these are my huge clamping gains I was like oh shit, I, I should probably you know think about clamping and then I didn't clamp correctly I will admit that but I was like okay I'm gonna try clamping bet f***ed up my hard flaccid soft gland syndrome you know I had something that was working I knew it was working but instead I decided to switch to something that I knew was going to be more dangerous and you know, I paid the cost. So I wish sometimes I had better blinders, but it's hard to know like what you don't know. I already had suspicion that clamping was not going to be effective and it was dangerous. And I posted about that. Why? I will never clamp. And then I f***ed around and clamped and you know, there you go. So another thing, I wish I had tried to bring more real science sooner. Guys, like I don't have social media. I'm an older guy and you know, I don't know if I look at, but I'm sensitive and I'm sure any of you guys that have gotten in, into debates with me prior to probably 2022 when I was like way more insecure on here like uh, so so cr like critiques and not even critiques but like trolls and critics like really got to me and so when I came onto the scene I wasn't like the hink you know now that you know a lot of people trust my advice because I try to provide science for everything I do but I was posting things and people were basically like what the f do you know like who who are you to try to tell us this and so there was there was a lot of hate there was a lot of criticism and it actually made me more reluctant to actually post um especially if you look back on my history like oh especially my joke for you stuff I was like very like hey guys I'm just trying to put this out there like I don't know everything you know like take this for what it's worth you know I know a lot of you are smarter than me just to kind of get ahead of those guys that were like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm so-and-so, I know it all, and blah, 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 I disagree, just to try to avoid that kind of friction, I guess. I just, I didn't like that.
and uh, along with that, like I know the the internet can be like a horrible place, but I, I guess especially on Reddit, they're like these people that just like assume that they are the authority and that like they're the end all be all. Like on that big problem subreddit it's this guy named captain hare and he's like oh he is the authority and everything he says is you know and so he's like anyways and so like there was this guy on our sub getting bigger and like he he had so many different aliases but i'm going to refer to him as lean member but this guy was a f prick for like no reason and like he, i remember he called me um God, what does he call me? He called me some like, like quote unquote, like an idiot, just like spewing garbage. And it's like, what the f man? Like I make a post and I'm like, look, here is this paper. You do with it what you want to. This is what I took away from it. Do your own research and form your own conclusions. But he took it as like a personal mission to like, I want to say with me but just to try to like poo poo everything I said and just bring a bunch of negativity and I'm just not used to that it's like I'm used to debates and f medicine and you know our different journal clubs and f like that where you have differing opinions but it's like civil but here's you know these people are f anonymous on the internet and they feel like they can say whatever they want and some of these guys I'm sure are like very immature and I mean like say they're over 18 but they're really not but it, it's just like why can't you be civil and like even guys on YouTube like I just don't get it and like there was a guy and I, I referenced this before but I was doing like talking about the study about how hand size correlates with penis size and I put up and I said you know this is this is my right hand and he was like oh how could this guy be a doctor he doesn't even know his left hand from his right hand and it's just like god like is there a chance that maybe the screen is mirrored like I always wear my watch on my left hand guys so if you see my left hand like even if it looks like it's the right this is always going to be my left hand for everybody who cares but even there was a guy that like recently like on my early videos admittedly youtube I f sucked okay i'm sorry i like i didn't know what i was doing i was kind of like scared i'm actually a pretty shy person in, in baseline but he was like your mic suck and it's just like like exclamation point as his comment and it's like like i mean i get it it's the internet you know i'm, I'm this naive you know 40 year old guy that doesn't hang out on the internet much but like why can't you just be civil and it's like if you've seen my more recent videos like i got a new mic i actually got a ring light too that you know i'm working on setting up i'm trying to improve i'm not very tech savvy but i have kind of i've thickened my skin in a sense that i just don't care as much and i also don't engage the trolls anymore as much but i just i don't understand why people just can't be civil in the comments like why do why do people default to being Heads. that's what I don't understand and it's like if you're one of these guys like trolling me you know whatever I'm used to that it's not a big deal anymore but I just don't understand anyways and along with the trolls like I wish I was a little bit better about taking the constructive criticism and so like that lean member guy was like you know your videos suck because you spend so you you spend the first minute talking about like why you remain anonymous nobody cares if you're a doctor or not blah 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 and like the way he said it was like total Head. But then, like, I actually thought about that comment, and I was like, he's kind of right. Like, who the f*** cares? Most of these guys, uh, anyways, it's like, I need to actually be more concise and more to the point and get things going quicker, and maybe I'll have better videos, better better engagement. And since then, it's like, I don't f waste time with that. But anyways, so let's move on to the next. Um, and just kind of like, along with that, like, I'm a people pleaser, okay? That's, like, always been my MO. And so I want everybody to be ha happy, and I wish I had a better, and I'm working on it, just understand that no matter what I do, there's always going to be somebody who doesn't like what I do for some reason, and I can't control that. So I got to try to please the most people, like with Vigor, okay? Like I actually wasn't planning on turning these commercial, but you know, hey, Vigor's awesome, guys. If you want awesome boners and you want awesome workouts, this stuff is great. If you're doing PE, it will actually literally keep your healthy. I have other videos on it, watch it. But you know, there's guys that like, oh my god, Vigor is the worse because it uses artificial sweeteners and like the old me like 2022 2021 me like early 2022 would have been like listen up guy blah 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 but now i'm just like look dude like if you don't if you don't f like artificial sweeteners don't don't take it <laughs> like there's there's so much worse sh in the world that if you're worried about a small serving of artificial sweetener then do you and i provided evidence of like why actual real sugar would have been worse in this and with like real literature and how actually that paper relates to erectile issues so so anyways guys like I, I i am getting better with that but as i'm kind of growing as a whatever this persona is i, I hate 
term influencer, but as a, I'll just say thought leader maybe in PE for whatever whatever people care about. But just knowing that there's always going to be some person that's going to have an issue with at least something. And so I just need to learn to do my best and just be content with that. And I'm actually working on that and it's a lot better. God, this is a big one, guys, because people learn that, yes, penis enlargement is real. There's papers, like I'll put up a, you know, a screenshot of one here that shows that, yes, penis enlargement is real. And I, and I used to kind of try to really promote that just because I knew how insecure it was for me and I know how much of a difference it has made in my life and I want others to have that. But once again, people are going to assume it's not real no matter how many papers you put. And so I never really tried small problems, maybe once. Um, but maybe average dick problems, I think I, I put it out there and, you know, everybody sounds off, oh, this isn't real. Even there was a guy, you know, and every every week there's somebody on subreddit that's like, I got banned from small dick problems and it for talking about pee. And it's like, you know, people don't want to hear it. And I've said this before, so I have like several close friends, like five, five close friends that I was like, you know, guys, I started pumping, you know, I use a bath mate and I've made major gains on my dick. You know, if you guys are interested, you should certainly think about it. And none of them did it. Like, it used to kind of bother me. And I just used to, like, even in the comments, there's probably going to be somebody that's going to be, a oh, penis enlargement doesn't work with the SpongeBob meme. But I just, like, you know, I need to focus on, like, why I'm doing this. I'm getting this out information out there, take it or leave it. And I'm trying to help the people who are actively engaged in the community to help people do it more safely and more efficiently. And, you know, that's just what it's going to be. And I don't, like, my mission isn't to go out and spread the good word of PE like the Mormon church. It's just, like, I put the information out there. If people are receptive to it, great. If not, you know, whatever. And, you know, my sub is above, I mean, my YouTube is above 3,000 now, so clearly it's working for somebody, but I just don't get all worked up about that. And the last thing probably is that, I like, I kind of wish my wasn't all over the subreddit and, you know, arguably the internet just because, like, I do fear the day where, like, somebody doxes me and then it's like, you know, I have... I have brothers and sisters and parents and, you know, a career and like if somebody does dox me, that's why I put things in like black and white and that's why I wear this mask. And so even if somebody tries to say, oh, I know who you are, Hink, I can have like plausible deniability, but it's still just weird and um, I definitely don't have the same level of comfort, but I do feel strong enough about the fact that I am like, I know it sounds corny and cliche, but I am helping people by showing like, guys, you know, this was my before and this is my after and like this isn't photoshopped I did the best I could to show the measurements because like this is real and it's changed my life and I want other people to experience this and I have had people that have been like you know I was reluctant to consider PE before you came onto the scene and and I trust you and you know your before and after pictures help me but it's still just a lot to know that you know people have been like oh yeah I save all of your and so like even if I were to delete like my whole profile which I'm not going to do it's like there's still going to be people that know what my looks like and so you know whatever there's worse things to be known for especially with like my current size which is you know very nice they'd be like oh you know oh that's the guy with the uh you know with the hog so anyways and then kind of the the last thing is like i wish i knew how whole people are just because like there's there's this whole group of people that like pry on these guys with these insecurities that will like like me would have done anything to have a bigger penis and whether it be like products or whether it be like pills it's it, they they pry on these insecurities or even some of these coaches like on the subreddit that will like slide into people's dms and be like oh well, you're trying to grow your pay me 50 dollars for a phone call and I'll, I'll help you do it like i think that they're the worst scum of the earth and so that's part of and i know like bd feels the same way and so that's part of our whole thing is to like not put any of this behind a paywall it's like yes you know vigor hey you want to buy it you want to support us great but you know there's other citrulline based products that you can get that can provide at least you know similar benefits to vigor and you don't it's not like hey you guys want to grow an inch on your d try vigor like nobody's doing that and that's not, that's not the point of anything we do. And so, like, that's why I really have, like, a lot of respect for BD for, for like, you know, putting his, you know, putting himself out there so much because it's really to, like, you know, hey, guys, this is a guy, this is a video demonstration of me doing this to kind of help people just because, like, there are some scumbags, like, scum of the earth, and there's a special place in hell for them. 
And there's also a special place in hell for people that work for health insurance companies that deny care for people that need it. Those are probably the two people that piss me off the worst. This video is getting a little long and I'm kind of ranting. So just briefly, I'd like to talk about Lido. Well, what did I do right? Well, I started slow and I actually did a little bit of research before I got started. I won't, I, I certainly could have done more, but you know, Derek, more plates, more dates. Once again, like he's a guy, I trusted him. If he said bathmate works, phallison works, like he's provided enough evidence-based things that I'm going to trust him. And so like, I didn't quite do enough research then. I wish I would have maybe re read a little bit more, but I started slow nonetheless. Like the first day I got my pump, like I just basically put it on flask and just tested out how to do it. So the first couple of weeks were just kind of adjusting to it using low pressures to kind of get it to how it feels, then gradually working my way up. Same with like doing manual stretches. Like I started for short time periods and gradually increased the tension. And so I was smart in that regard. I found what worked for me and I stuck to it. Also, like pumping in manual stretches. You guys have, you know, seen my videos on them or, you know, maybe you haven't, but if you haven't, you know, go check them out. But like I detail exactly how I did what I did and how I was so successful. And I, I didn't try to switch around a bunch of I was patient and consistent and, you know, growing 1.3 inches over 24 months is very, very slow process. Like you can't even visibly see it except when you're like three, four months in and then you're like, oh yeah, it is a little bigger, isn't it? But I was consistent and I was dedicated. And so that's what's, that's large reason why I've had the success that I've had. I also, so obviously you guys know like who I am, you're on this channel, but like I have researched and I'm consistently trying to improve and it's not necessarily like me revolutionizing techniques even though you know I, yeah this is arrogant go ahead sound off say oh you hang your piece of but like I do think in a lot of ways I have I've completely changed the paradigm in when it comes to PE like when I came into the scene everybody was like pumping doesn't cause permanent gains and now it's pretty much universally accepted based on not universally but based on the literature I provided that like look guys here's the literature talking about why pumping works how it works and this is what we can glean from this and you know obviously when I combine that with my results I see more and more people talking about like, yeah, pump, pumping is legit. And less people saying like, oh, pumping doesn't work, only clamping works when they both use basically increased pressure in the Anyways, I think because I continue to like put together my injury guides, you know, things like that, like I'm, I'm always trying to help this field move forward in general. And also I always encourage guys, if somebody makes a post and they have a PubMed reference, there's pretty much a 90% chance they're going to get an award from me because they're actually using real data to promote and to like learn when it comes to PE. And so I, I do think that, you know, I, because I, I am constantly trying to learn and research that it is helping the field. I don't know. Tell me to f in the comments if it's not that's fine another thing i did was i took breaks when i was in doubt when i got lymphangial sclerosis for the first time i stopped everything i also panicked but i was like this i'm out for at least three months i just stopped everything i'm not like oh maybe i can push through and so i was like smart in that regard like if something i think is going wrong i stopped it and i analyzed and i couldn't find a single thing on lymphangia sclerosis lymphocytes in any of these subs maybe i didn't search hard enough maybe i didn't search for, search on thunder's place but you know i put together a guide and now i see it fairly regularly that's like oh guys i think i have lymphangia sclerosis what should i do and that's always comforting to me but anyways and i uh, the last thing which i've already talked about is just spreading the information as i learn it and i see more and more guys that are like hey guys you know this is what worked for me i use you know these resources and you know here's even a paper that i found that kind of correlates and so i love that i love where that trend is going and honestly that's what i think is so special about getting bigger you know our, our subreddit just i think that it is far more science-based and it is really like taking traditional like pe techniques and then moving past it and like excelling the field forward anyways guys this video is way longer than i anticipated hopefully you guys learned something so a couple of big things here guys okay leviathan sups Let's check out the swagger thank you bd we have our own testosterone booster coming out and so this is a product that i designed with bd i'm going to be releasing a full video on the pa actual papers the scientific proof that this works to boost your testosterone and exactly why it works and how it works and so testosterone boosters coming soon okay the virility and so we have the supplement that will not only increase your semen volume but believe it or not it increases semen health and it also believe it or not increases semen taste and so this is actually in production they are actually putting it into the bottles now and i know we've been saying this for like months and months and months but like we finally got the go ahead that, that this is actually coming to fruition 
So for all you guys that have been patient and patient and pre-ordered it, much love to you all. It's going to be worth it. And once I know for sure that it's shipping out, I'm going to have a full video on that, exactly how it works, why it works, and um, the actual legitimate science behind why this does what it does. And then bigger, maybe by the even by the time you're watching this video, we might be sold out again. We have ordered more, but if you're interested, you're curious, you want this, you really need to move soon if you want to get it with this bitch batch. It's very good. If you need to reach me, Doc Inc. Patreon. Do your own research, form your own conclusions. I appreciate you watching, especially if you made it this far. Leave me a funny joke in the comments. I guarantee I'll heart it. So um, anyways, guys, catch you on the next one. Peace and love.